People often wonder why I have to practice so much. I had a good serve to my backhand, high slice. And this is a shot you practice doing this, the cross-court backhand slice return, or cross-court backhand drill. Work on slicing. So I give him a slice to his backhand. Decent shot, keep him deep. Key here is it's just like what you did in practice. This is the first neutralizing shot you need to have because you have to be able to return a high slice, a high kick to your backhand. Most people have this shot. Second shot you work on inside out forehand to their backhand. Just like you do in practice, doing cross court. And that was a low one, so you gotta be still going hitting low one also. Stay low on the low forehand, go for targeting, not big, but targeting. And when you hit cross court to each other, you can really work on different things. Specific shots you're going to use in the match. That's what the, that's my thought process. This is where I want to be in most of the match. You also work on playing the backhand, and that's why you do this drill and keep it real. Try aim for single sidelines. This is your base shot. This is where you live. You're going to stay in this corner of the court, hang your shot there, and the other finishing shot you're going to practice it down the line. This keeps the court closed. You stay maintain control. And this is where I screw up a little bit because I didn't. I got lazy. I didn't shift around. I give him open court shot right here. Caught me off guard. When you get the open court shot, you got to do something with it though. What does he do with the ball? Hits me with a loop. So what do you do? You counter the loop with another loop. Just like you do in practice. Catch the ball early. Give it a high clearance in the net. People often wonder why I hit a lot of cross courts in practice. So you counter the loop, neutralize him. Remember, catch the ball early, don't let it get too high on you. Then, this is kind of a bad approach. Cross approach, but it's better than down the line. But it didn't really make him move. Watch it again, I hit it. I'm not really in when he makes an impact with the ball. The ball's not really deep, he doesn't have to move. It's a bad shot by me. So it forces me to a great volley here. On the low volley here, I decided to go drop, and that's really tough. I don't recommend doing that. I got kind of lucky.